Hello dear students, welcome back to my video. Today we are going to discuss exercise 8.2 from the chapter Binomial Theorem. In previous video, we have discussed the same exercise, the question number starting from 1 to 6. Today we are going to discuss the remaining questions, that is they start from question 7. Okay, let's start. First question, find the middle term in the expansion of first 3 minus x cube by 6 all raised to 7, second x by 3 plus 9y all raised to 10. Solution here n equal to 7 that is odd number therefore there are n plus 1 terms that is 8 terms therefore there are 2 middle term that is n plus 1 by 2th term and n plus 1 by 2 plus 1th term okay that is uh, n equal to 7, 7 plus 1, 8, 8 by 2, that is 4th and 5th term. 4th and 5th term are the middle terms of this expansion. Also, a equal to 3, b equal to minus x cube by 6, n equal to 7, Therefore, fourth term t4 for equal to t of 3 plus 1, which is equal to ncr a raised to n minus r b raised to r. That is the general term. You can substitute the value. That is 7c3 3 raised to 7 minus 3 minus x cube by 6 all raised to 3 which is equal to 7 factorial by 3 factorial into 4 factorial that is uh, r factorial into n minus r factorial n minus r equal to 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4 factorial into 3 raised to 4 into minus x cube by 6 all raised to 3. We can take this minus outside then minus of 7 into 6 into 5 divided by 3 into 2 into 1. 4 factorial and remaining 4 factorial get cancelled into 3 raised to 4 into x raised to 9 by 6 cube can be written as 2 cube into 3 cube therefore this 3, three get cancelled we can write minus 105 by 8 x raised to 9. Next we have to find the fifth term that is t5 which is equal to t of 4 plus 1 and then equal to general term is ncr a raised to n minus r b raised to r. Here a equal to 3 b equal to minus x cube by 6 and n equal to 7. Then we can write t5 equal to 7c4 3 raised to 7 minus 4 that is 3. 3 raised to 3 minus x cube by 6 whole raised to 4 which is equal to 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial into n minus r factorial that is 7 minus 4 that is 3 factorial into 3 cube uh, then 
minus of uh, here power is 4 therefore we can cancel the negative term then x raised to 3 by 6 can be written as 2 raised to 4 and 3 raised to 4 here x cube all raised to 4 which is equal to 7 into 6 into 5 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 into 3 cube into x raised to 12 divided by 2 raised to 4 and 3 raised to 4 which is equal to this 3 get cancelled we can write 35 x raised to 12 divided by 48 as the answer next question find the middle term of the expansion x by 3 plus 9 by all raised to 10 here n equal to 10 therefore middle term equal to n by 2 plus 1 -th term which is equal to n equal to 10 then 10 by 2 5 plus 1 6 -th term will be the middle term then t6 equal to t of 5 plus 1 which is equal to ncr a raised to n minus r b raised to r a equal to x by 3 b equal to 9y then substituting in this equation t6 equal to uh, 10c 5 x by 3 raised to 10 minus 5 that is 5 into 9y raised to 5 which is equal to 10 factorial divided by r5 that is 5 into n minus r that is 5 factorial into 5 factorial x raised to 5 3 raised to 5 then we can write uh, 9 as 3 square then 3 square into 5 3 raised to 10 y raised to 5 which is equal to 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 divided by 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that 5 factorial and 5 factorial get cancelled into x raised to 5 by 3 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 10 by raised to 5 which can be written as 6 1 2 3 6 x raised to 5 y raised to 5 this can be calculated using calculator then we get the middle term as 61236 x raised to 5 y raised to 5 9th question in the expansion of 1 plus a all raised to m plus n prove the coefficient of a raised to m and a raised to n are equal solution we know that general term t of r plus 1 equal to ncr a raised to n minus r b raised to r here n equal to m plus n a equal to 1 and b equal to a therefore substituting this value in general term we can write t of r plus 1 equal to m plus n c 
are 1 raise to m plus n minus r a raise to r which is equal to m plus n c r a raise to r this can be equation 1 because we write this equation 1 raise to any term equal to 1 now if the general term for the expression is t of r plus 1 equal to m plus n c r a raise to r now coefficient of a raise to m a raise to m coefficient of a raise to m then t of m plus 1 equal to m plus n c m a raise to m because we write we got the general term as m plus n c r a raise to r therefore coefficient of a raise to m equal to t of m plus 1 equal to m plus n c raise to r a raise to m hence for the coefficient of a raise to m the value of r equal to m therefore value of r equal to m therefore coefficient is coefficient is m plus n c m similarly similarly coefficient of a raise to n is m plus n c n therefore coefficient of a raise to m equal to m plus n c m uh, coefficient of a raise to n equal to m plus n c n therefore we can write m plus n c m equal to m plus n factorial divided by m factorial into m plus n minus m that is n factorial then m plus n c n equal to m plus n factorial divided by n factorial into m plus n minus n that is m factorial here we can say that coefficient of a raise to m and a raise to n are equal that is coefficient of a raise to m and a raise to n are equal Tenth question, the coefficient of r minus 1th rth and r plus 1th term in the expansion of x plus 1 all raised to n r in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5. Then find n and r. Solution we can write general term t of r plus 1 equal to n c r a raised to n minus r b raised to r. We can write binomial expansion as 1 plus x all raised to n where a equal to 1, b equal to x and n equal to n. Therefore, t of r plus 1 equal to n c r 1 raised to n minus r x raised to r which is equal to n c r x raised to r. The coefficient of r plus 1 the term is n c r therefore r the term is given by given by r minus 1 the term therefore t of r minus r plus 1 minus 1 
equal to n c r minus one a is one one raised to r minus one x raised to r minus one is equal to T R equal to N C R minus one N minus R minus one N C R minus one X raised to R minus one for the R minus one the term is given by is given by r minus 2th term therefore we can write t of r minus 2 plus 1 equal to nc r minus 2 x raised to r minus 2 that is t of r minus 1 equal to nc r minus 2 x raised to r minus 2 therefore coefficient of Rth term is nc r minus 1 and coefficient of r minus 1th term is nc r minus 2 and we got the coefficient of R plus 1th term is NCR. Given that the coefficient of R minus 1th R and R plus 1th term are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 5. Therefore, the coefficient of coefficient of R minus 1th term by the coefficient of R the term equal to 1 by 3 that is coefficient of R minus 1 the term is NC R minus 2 divided by coefficient of R the term is NC R minus 1 which is equal to 1 by 3. which is equal to n factorial divided by r minus 2 factorial into n minus r minus 2 factorial divided by n factorial divided by r minus 1 factorial into n minus r minus 1 factorial that we expand ncr form which is equal to 1 by 3. Now we can rearrange the term we will get n factorial divided by r minus 2 factorial into n minus r plus 2 factorial into r minus 1 factorial into n minus r minus r plus 1 factorial divided by n factorial which is equal to one by three by multiplying we get r minus 1 into r minus 2 factorial into n minus r plus 1 factorial divided by r minus 2 factorial into n minus r plus 1 sorry r plus 2 factorial which is equal to 1 by 3.
which can be written as r minus 1 into r minus 2 factorial and r minus 2 factorial get cancelled into n minus r plus 1 factorial divided by n minus r plus n minus r plus 2 into n minus r plus 1 factorial equal to 1 by 3 which is equal to r minus 1 divided by n minus r plus 2 equal to 1 by 3 or 3r minus 3 equal to n minus r plus 2 n minus 4r plus 5 equal to 0 this can be equation 1 Also, we can write the coefficient of r to term by coefficient of r plus 1 to term equal to 3 by 5, which is equal to ncr r minus 1 by ncr equal to 3 by 5. We can write ncr minus 1 equal to n factorial divided by r minus 1 factorial into n minus r minus 1 factorial divided by n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial which is equal to 3 by 5 we can rearrange the term as n factorial n factorial get cancel r factorial into n minus r factorial divided by r minus 1 factorial into n minus r plus 1 factorial equal to 3 by 5 Then we can write r into r minus 1 factorial into n minus r factorial divided by r minus 1 factorial into n minus r plus 1 factorial equal to 3 by 5. r minus 1 factorial and r minus 1 factorial get cancelled. We will get r into n minus r factorial divided by n minus r plus 1 factorial equal to 3 by 5. Which is equal to r into n minus r factorial divided by n minus r plus 1 into n minus r factorial which is equal to 3 by 5. n minus 1 n minus r factorial get cancelled we can write r by n minus r plus 1 equal to 3 by 5 or 5r equal to 3n minus 3r plus 1 3n minus 3r plus 3 Therefore, 8R equal to or 8R minus 3N minus 3 equal to 0 equation 2. We have equation 1 as N minus 4R. N minus 4R plus 5 equal to 0. That is equation 1. Multiplying equation 1 by Number 2 we will get 2n minus 8r plus 10 equal to 0. Equation 3. Adding equation 2 and 3 we will get minus 3n plus 2n. And 8r and 8r get cancelled.
minus n equal to minus 7 therefore n equal to 7 and r equal to 3 hence we got the values n and r